Hey YouTube, here we are now with another new project I've got. Of course, I never finished my uh, project of this Parma Ski Tiger, which I promised I would be working on here soon. Um, this one I still got to work on, but right now I picked up a plane that represents the first plane that I ever flew, and I found one new on eBay in the box. It was open, but uh, the date 1990, or excuse me, 1985, so this is a quite old airplane from Kyosho, actually Cox branded but kyosho made this has the ohs construction which it's all plastic film um basically on top of the foam inners decal set everything's like mint condition all the instruction manuals are here we've got the decal sheet we'll set that over there uh, servo installation i don't care about that so what we're gonna do this is gonna be a conversion kit guys hate to do it to you but um there's the main wing that wing is going to be cut in half right down the middle and we're going to cut out these um ailerons right here somebody else i think i've seen on youtube put flaps functional flaps i might do the same thing but i have to add more servos to the bottom of the wing i really don't want to add a lot of weight because i think ailerons will be more than sufficient and i can convert them to um you know flap runs if i need to or flaps and slash ailerons and here's the fuselage with the motor so i can get it out of there real quick jammed in there so that motor is coming out like right there thumb means out i'm making this a brushless conversion kit so even though it's a classic and it is um you know even all the pieces are all in here this stuff has been opened again from the prior owner but nothing has been unsealed everything is still sealed in the packages the wheel pants um we've got you know some whatever this thing is i have no idea what all Oh, there's a receiver. He put a, there's actually a receiver in here. How funny. So this, he forgot to remove the receiver because this must have came with the radio option because they never give you the receiver unless there's a radio option version and a non-radio option version for this kit back in the day. So this is an old, oh my God, they got a Ford number 44 crystal in there. Look at that with a super long antenna. Well, we're going 2.4, so I don't need this. This is, I might put this on eBay and sell it now. I don't think it's supposed to be in there. So apparently this kit, when he had it, I just realized, must have came with the radio option. But as you can see, the fuselage is in mint shape. It's never even started the you know, uh, assembly. There's been no assembly started. And again, this is the uh, 049 powered Cessna 182 Skylane. This motor's coming out. Uh, it's brand new, never been run. And what I'm going to do is convert it to fit this Turnigy. I'm going to get this, trying to do all, do all this with one hand here. I've got a Turnigy brushless outrunner, which is a 20... Was it 26, 20, I'm sorry, 28 by 26, 1650 KV. That's going to fit right inside of here and replace this gas motor. So I'll have to, you know, go with a 3S system, uh, make a standoff to reach the uh, the front bulkhead forward. This engine, this motor is a little shorter than the Cox motor is to get the prop out in the right spot. So I'll have to build about an inch, it looks like an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter spacer to get this motor pushed forward far enough in the cowling. You know, just to poke through the the hole there so i've got a lot of work to do so we're going to like i said uh, make it a brushless conversion we're going to put super lightweight servos in there back in the day they used i think standard size servos and whatnot but again this has a whole plastic skinned on everything everything that was foam it has a plastic a hard plastic skin it's really nice that they did back in the day the original version of the cox one that came out prior to this did not have the ohs construction it was just foam and once the um nitro fuel exhaust you know would get down the side of the oily it would just make a mess of the plane so it, this is a much better much better design so like i said next time you see this there's a line right down the middle you can see that in the camera that's gonna be my knife cut right down the middle so what i'm going to do is take some of this dihedral out try to get a better view you can see the angle the, the, the v angle what that does is if I put ailerons on this as the way it is, like I did back in the day, it, it did not fly very well because it was fighting the self-writing ability that all this dihedral gives you. So with that said, I'm going to cut this down the middle, um, probably wedge it a little bit on the, on the bottom and bring it back down, bring the sides down and make it more of a flat wing with just maybe a couple degrees of dihedral, just a little bit like a scale airplane would be half. So anyway, this is my next project. Um, again, this was, the reason I'm shooting this video is because um it was the first plane that i learned to fly on back in the day and this and it's dated like i said 1985 and if i remember it was like 85 86 when i self-taught myself to crash this plane a million times before i could figure out uh, a two-channel airplane that would only run on 
rudder and elevator. It had no ailerons, it had no throttle. The motor just runs wide open until it runs out of gas, which is a nuisance by itself. So basically you're gonna crash it with the engine running or you crash it with the motor stopped or you gotta keep it flying the whole time until the motor stops and then hopefully glide it in nicely. And uh, I did many things wrong back in the day, but now obviously I've got some pretty nice airplanes. My big 48 inch, uh, this is actually a really nice biplane by Great Plains, hate to digress, but this plane is super aerobatic. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous airplane. I love this thing to death. It's the Reactor from Great Plains. Um, and then I also have the smaller one tucked right here, the, the smaller brother, we'll call it. It's like a 30, eh, maybe a 36 inch, maybe 40 inch biplane. It's the same type of plane, same exact configuration, just smaller. Where this one's a 48 inch, uh, eight pound plane with a big old brushless motor in that. That thing's a beast. And so anyway, I just wanted to go back to go back to my roots and do a project of converting this to a brushless uh, plane. I'll have it um, construction videos, maybe another one posted where I get the wing cut and fixed and then the aileron installed with the uh, servo cutouts I got to put in here. I'm going to use micro servos for that, obviously, to keep the weight down and then we'll make it a full four channel airplane as opposed to the two channel airplane it was designed originally. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, lots of unfinished projects and I'll try to pick one and hopefully this one will be the one I can stick with one and get some good content out there. So like I said, subscribe if you like some of my RC stuff. I do lots of boats, lots of cars, not so much airplanes anymore, but I might get into a few more plane stuff. But again, my main focus is boats, obviously there, you know, there and the big old skater here. You know I mean, come on, that thing's gorgeous. I have to put that in every video. It's just the guy who did the airbrushing for me did such a great job on this boat. It's just insane. So, but I did all the mechanicals and the install. So long story short, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.